everybody, I'm Jillian Harris. I'm so excited about today's vlog because I'm going to be showing you how I edit my iPhone photos. And you have to wait to the very end because I'm going to show you the one app that will help make your Instagram feed look absolutely perfect. Today we're going to take a picture of my bedroom and I love this little vignette right here. I've got my little good night sign, um, beautiful bouquet of flowers. Right now, like it's such a beautiful, like this is such a beautiful vignette, but as soon as I take a picture of it, it's backlit, right? Because the, the sunlight is coming in from the window and if you come over here and look, you'll see that it's the light is not as pretty. The main apps I use is Facetune, PicTap Go, I sometimes use Color Story to add a little warmth to my photos, and lastly I always finish in Planoli. Okay, so I've got my photo. Um, and the first thing I usually do is open it up in Facetune. Facetune is an app I think that was created to make you look prettier. <laughs> Which sometimes you can do if you really want to. But right now we're just going to make the room brighter. There's our photo. Um, okay, so it's really dark right now. And it doesn't look as bright and fresh and airy as it does right, right now. So okay, so how can we fix that? So first things first, I'm going to go to Filters. And I'm going to go expose oh my gosh almost almost fixed the whole picture right then and there looks so good already I'm gonna just leave that as 100% uh, exposed and I'm gonna go filters again and I'm gonna actually hit lighter the the difference between lighter and exposed sometimes I find if you overexpose it it just looks really washed out where if you hit the lighter filter it brightens it so it's a little bit more saturated but I don't want the whole space to be saturated. I just want the really dark areas to be saturated. So I'm just gonna decrease that a little bit to about 30. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit wipe, which is down on your bottom right hand corner. I'm gonna go clear everything. And then I'm just gonna apply, you see the apply is highlighted there, um, just on the bed area. See how it's just brightening up a little bit? Just a little, I feel like Bob Ross right now. Look at that pretty little wall. Brighten up a little bit, just a little tap, just a little tap, tap, tap. Brighten up those sheets, get Nacho's drool off of there. Um, another great thing why this is a great picture to show you guys, you can see on the top left corner it's a little bit yellowy. That's because the light that's coming in from the um, French doors is a little bit yellow. So we can actually uh, cool that down if we want a little bit. And I would also say that I'm losing a little bit of the pink of the bed. So I'm gonna save that right now. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I'm gonna expose that corner just a little bit more. Um, wipe, clear, apply, just a little bit, just so I can get it nice and bright and airy in that one corner. Um, okay, yeah, that's looking good. See, this looks really good, but I find I love the color of the bed. See how we're just brightening that up there? Oh yeah, good ones, I'll just do the whole. Thing. Actually, I think I'll just go up to the wainscoting. It's almost like you're doing, it's almost like you're renovating, but with your finger. Wouldn't that be great if you could just do that? Just renovate your whole house and paint your walls with one swipe of the finger. Okay. Sometimes you gotta zoom in, get those little details. Okay. So it's looking pretty good, but I feel like I've lost the color of, um, the bed and also I feel like I've lost a little bit of color in the flowers so let's just go back to apply and we'll just brighten up some of that see how it's brightening up the leaves just a little bit brighten up the flowers a little bit so you don't have that big dark patch okay okay so I'm just gonna show you the before and after before I add some more color to the headboard so in the bottom right corner you'll see that there's that little blue circle with the two squares if you hit that because you, whoa, 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 mama. Holy smokes, before, after, before, after. Woo, this is so sweet. Okay, so now um, we're gonna add a little bit of color to the headboard. I find this part is a little bit limited on Facetune, um, but I've just learned these tricks down the road. I use the red filter a lot, actually. I use it to warm up skin tone. Sometimes you take a picture and your skin tone looks like really gray and dead and you're like, oh my God, I need some light. And it's not that your skin actually looks like that. It's just like the lighting in the picture. Sometimes I use the red filter just to add a little bit of life back to the skin tone. I also have a lot of pink in my feed. 
So now the entire room is pink. Holy cow, way too much pink. We're going to reduce that down to, ooh, let's say, 15. Now we'll wipe, clear, and just add that pink just to the headboard. Now I feel like I might have overdone it, but let's just see what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so let's hit the before and after again. So that's our before, which is still pretty. I like this, but it's a little bit washed out for my liking. Now when I let go, you're going to see the after. Boom. Okay. I'm really happy with this in Facetune, but now from here, I like to add my filters that kind of make my feed unique to me. So um, at this point now, I'm going to save this to my camera roll, and I'm going to open it up in PicTap Go. So here it is in PicTap Go, and now I will go edit, and there's a few options. So I'll usually hit it with the bright side. Oh yeah, this is looking good. I'll decrease that bright side a little bit. Um, you see how in the bottom, how I'm, you can decrease it or increase it there. So I'll just decrease it just a little bit. And then I'm going to add air. Air is like my magic. Um, even Mackenzie, she'll do like the best editing on my photos. It will look perfect, but it's just like my neurotic self. I always add a little bit of air to each one of my photos. So I'm really loving this. I think this looks awesome. It's one of the things about Instagram that I love. Instagram stories is where I show the raw, dirty side of my life. It's nice when you click over to an account and you're like, wow, look at these color scheme and these pictures and it's not like selfie after selfie. You want to have things like organized. So I like to organize my photos with like maybe a design photo, a picture of me and Leo, uh, maybe a flat lay and then a fashion photo. And I kind of like mix it up so that when you come to my feed, you get like a really great idea of my style and what you're going to get from this account. Um, I like for people to know that they're going to get a little bit of family, a little bit of fashion, a little bit of design, a little bit of fun, a little bit of food. So I like to be able to have my first like nine to 12 photos have one of everything. But when you're constantly on the fly, it's hard to know what those photos are going to look like beside each other. So I use an app, which I feel like has completely changed my life and it's called Planoli. I like this because we shoot so much content, but I obviously can't upload like a hundred photos in one day. And then when you go back to add a photo, you have to scroll through all your photos. So this is a great place to add all of your favorites and then you can move them around. See how you can move them around? Oh, that's a good photo. That's, that's why I like that one. Um, you can move them around until you're happy. So these are all, all these ones with a U are all of my unpublished photos. So if you go down here, we use these little ones as placeholders. So if there's a placeholder, that means I'm usually happy with my photos up until now. So here's our Planoli feed right now. It's looking pretty good. You know what it's missing? It's missing the picture that we just edited. So let's add that picture. This helps me with my, my color scheme, with seasonal items. Uh, okay, I feel like that would look really, this looks great. I think that picture looks fabulous there. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and post that. You can schedule it if you want. If you want, you can add your caption, any of your tags. You can schedule it or you can post now. There you have it. I hope you followed along till the end. Um, it might seem daunting and it might seem like a lot of work just to edit a photo. Obviously, um, you're only going to go through all of these steps for one of two reasons. You either really, really love photography and you really just love Instagram and it's a hobby of yours or Instagram is a place of business. For us, it's a little bit of both. I love to share my family and my life. Um, I love photography. I love being creative. So that is a great reason to use Instagram. But Instagram is also a business platform for myself. So if it is a business platform for you and you want to increase your following, increase your sales, um, get the attention of others. I'm hoping that the tips that I gave you will help you achieve that or help you get you closer to your goal. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a ton. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any feedback on my tutorial or how I can make it better, please add it in the comments below. If you think I missed something or you want more information, please add it in the comments below. Don't forget to share this. Don't forget to like it. Don't forget to subscribe. I don't know, all that stuff is all over the place. Like, subscribe, share, and let us know what we're doing right and let us know what we're doing wrong.